a video for Adam Chapman, how to set weather compensation on a Wiesmann Vitadens 200. Select menu, select heating, this is the menu button, this is the OK button, go down till you get to heating curve, press OK, it's a slope you want to adjust, press OK, and you can see a pictorial representation of the curve on there. So on this one, flow temperature to radiators at zero outside is 51 degrees centigrade. So as I've talked about in previous posts, uh, really not going to go out of condensing mode at any time unless you get to probably about, about start to go out of condensing about minus five, which doesn't really happen in London very often. Um, if I wanted to take it hotter, We'll run at higher temperatures. So let's take the curve up. You can see the value of the curve moving in the bottom right hand corner. This one is very typical 1.4. Uh, basically, exactly in line. It's how the boiler comes default. So it's exactly in line with uh, the outside temperature of minus 3 um, with a flow temperature of 54 degrees at minus 3. Perfect for design in a well insulated house in the south of England. Uh, this isn't a super insulated house, it's just a well insulated house and that seems to be running perfectly. Um, very often for sort of old Victorian terrace houses, to give you some kind of idea, somewhere between 1.8 and occasionally as high as 2. So here you can see at 0 degrees outside we would have to run up to, I don't know if you can see that in the video, we'd have to run up to 64 flow. At 64 flow, we'd have a 44 return, so we'd still be in returning, uh, sorry, in, in condensing mode, um, but um, not fully condensing on an old Victorian house. But if we had a look down, basically the average uh, winter temperature in the UK is 55, so an old Victorian house for pretty much everything but about three days of the year would be running in condensing mode, full condensing mode, uh, on a weather comp boiler. Um, so to all those who say it doesn't work, nuts.